Good morning, Pam Bivens here. And this video will show you how to keep all your contacts organized without having the elaborate have to pay for type of systems. So if you're new at doing any type of network marketing or like me, the investing in real estate, this will help you out because I have gone through a couple of different systems as well as doing it separately on my own like I'm going to show you how, okay? So what I keep track of is first my buyer contacts. That's the first list that I ever make. Because once you get a property, if you don't have a buyer to, to, to snag it real quick, wholesaling and all of that gets very stressful. I don't do stress well. <laughs> okay. And the second one would be my seller contacts. You need to keep in touch with them. So you need to be able to find them. Okay, the last one would be my investor contacts. Now, sometimes the investor contacts can also be your buyer contacts. And you just make a little note of that. But I will put an Excel document down below so you would be able to download this for your own use. Now, it doesn't go to a capture page or, or anything like that. That is something that I learned to do in network marketing. That is not, I tend to, if somebody wants me to, it's like, okay, you can't have this until you give up your email and, you know, name. I won't do that. If you want to be on my list or, you know, get the videos and the blog, that type of stuff, you can subscribe to my channel and that works. If you want to get in touch with me to work something out, maybe, you know, something that will be a little bit more advantageous to you, definitely send me an email. Always good. So in that respect, ah, one other thing that would help with the contacts, especially with the investor, if you have got beginner investors that want to learn but don't have the money and that it would be your property finders make sure they're in or looking in the area that you want to invest in otherwise you're scrambled all over the place if they're in a different area share them with somebody else they will always be grateful for you Okay, so in that respect, go ahead and, and download the document. It'll be down below. If you're not real good with, with uh, Microsoft Excel, that might be a skill that, that you might want to hone in on. Otherwise, Google, if you have a Gmail account, Google is an awesome free way to get your, you know, to save your, your documents all in one place. You just need to have internet access to get to them. If you don't, get into a regular one. You know, just a regular Excel document and go from there. So, I will see you in the next video. And definitely connect with me. Subscribe and, you know, all that stuff. So, you have a blessing day. Take care. Bye-bye.